Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories. <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. The Little Book of Patience by Zach Bush and Lori Friedman Illustrated by Sarah Van Evera Waiting isn't easy. There are times you have to wait hours, days, or weeks to get what you want. Sometimes, the wait can be even longer. Waiting takes patience. But what does it mean to be patient? Patience means waiting calmly without complaining or getting frustrated or upset. It sounds hard to do, but there are so many good ways to wait patiently. Smiling while you wait is a good way to be patient. Don't feel like smiling? Here's a trick! Think about how much fun you will have when you get to take a turn. If something is taking longer than you expected, another way to be patient is to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and picture something that makes you happy. What makes you happy? Puffy clouds, fluttery butterflies, moon and stars, milk and cookies, furry puppies, tall green trees, cuddly kittens, bright sunshine. If things are not what you're used to or what you want them to be, it can be very hard to be patient. But here's the good news! Things won't stay that way forever. Being patient when you're sick or if a bone breaks isn't easy. Healing takes time. But if you're patient, before you know it, you will be as good as new and ready to do the things you enjoy. Many things require patience. If your little brother or sister is crying, you will need to be patient until they are smiling again. If your pet is misbehaving, you will need to be patient until they learn that making a mess is not okay. Reading takes patience. So does riding a bike. Or learning to play a sport or an instrument. Being able to do anything well takes patience and practice. You might not be able to do it the first, second, or even the third time you try. But be patient and soon you will succeed. Waiting for your birthday or your favorite holiday to arrive takes patience. So does cooking and baking. But once you're done, you'll have something everyone can enjoy, including you. If other people are talking, you will need to wait until it is your turn to talk. Listening without interrupting takes lots of patience. Even sitting still and being quiet takes patience. Waiting isn't always fun, but there are lots of ways to pass the time. What would you like to do while you wait? Take a nap? Help your parents? Color a picture? Pick some flowers? Give a hug? Read a book? Build a tower? Work a puzzle? Play a game? Sometimes when you're waiting, it feels like time is moving very slowly. Or like you're the only one who has to wait. But everyone has to practice patience. Even grown-ups! Believe it or not, being patient will make you feel better. Why? Because you'll be calm, in control, and proud of yourself. And others will be proud of you too! Being patient shows that you are thinking about other people and their happiness. 
being patient is hard. Sometimes you just need to take a deep breath and count to three. And remember, patience is not just about waiting. It's about how you wait. Congratulations! You've earned your patience badge. Now you know so many good ways to be patient. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one! Bye!